hello friend this is Sopnin and welcome to learn sap ABAP. so in this session we are going to see how to create cds extension view or we can say how to add a fields to the existing view using the extension view okay so i hope you know how to create a basic cds view and use a different operation on it uh, if you don't know then you can also watch this video on my channel so you can find the link is also given in the description so go and check it out later so today we will see how to to create a cds extension okay and don't forget to subscribe my channel to get notification about my upcoming audio okay so let's go to the eclipse okay so i am in my eclipse so we will create one uh, one basic view okay with some field okay and after that we will create one more view uh, which is nothing but extension view okay in that view we will append the field okay which uh, which has not a part of the first basic view okay so let's start let's, uh, right click on your package new and other repository object and type million just select the data source click on next okay type uh, and give it the name as a basic view okay so we'll see cds test basic okay wow well, okay it's uh, we have given a name as a cds disk basic and the description as a basic view click on the next if you have any transport then you have to select the transport i am currently storing in my local package so don't select any transport then click next okay so now here we will select the defined view and click finish okay so now as you can see here some predefined code okay this is some predefined code generated in our eclipse okay let's add some field okay first of all we will just give the view name okay this view name is nothing but it will be created in our in our in our sap uh, which we can access using se 11 okay so just give it the name view text basic okay okay so now you define it as z view they both are the name of both the name are different you can check over here as a select from and data shows name is nothing but the name of the table from which we are going to access the data okay so z mp underscore data okay this is the table okay well as a, a okay so now we will take some field from this table so a dot emp id employee id a dot the a dot f name as a first name then a dot l name is take the last name okay also last name okay so now we okay so this is the basic view we have created we have just uh we are taking this three field from this table okay is employee data from employee data table uh, employee id function name and last name okay so we will act check if any error, error or not check and then activate okay. okay so now we will uh execute this view okay i will execute this view we will see the data okay so now see i have executed the view and you can see there are three data uh, there are only three fields okay employee ID, first name last name there are only three fields okay and we can also see the view in our sc level let's go zv test is basic okay 
this is nothing but the view we have created in shaliver as you can see here here also we have a three field employee ID, first name last name okay so now we will see how the extension now we will use the extension concept okay I suppose uh, we have uh, this basic view okay, and we have to add some so we have uh, this view and we want to add some field in this view okay so how we can add okay this is the existing view okay so how we can add some field in this view now this is the basic view okay so suppose we have to add some field in this in this existing existing fields okay so how we can add okay see now i have just created this view then we can also add directly field in this in this view okay but in this view, in this session we are learning the concept of the extension view okay so that purpose i am just creating the some new uh, new series new uh, new extension view okay so what we have to do just uh, now just again just click on right click on your package new other repository object and type your ddl source data source click on next and uh, just type the uh, new and say cds yes and this uh, cd underscore test extension extension okay this is nothing but extension view extension view okay so now just click on the next select the package if you have the package and select the transport if you want to store in the transport don't have so and now here you have to select extend view okay and click on finish so now as you can see here uh first thing is uh, sql view append name okay so now here we have to provide the view name for the extension okay so we'll provide here this send view test xtn okay extension and now as you can see here extend view okay so now extend view is what the extend view means the name of the view which we want to extend okay so now uh, we will uh, so we have we are going to give the name of the view the basic view that we had created now okay so the name of our view set cds test basic okay we will just confirm the name of the view mm. cds view okay so this is the name cj cds test basic okay Good. Okay, and with this city this extension, nothing but the name that we had given at the time of creation of the extension. Okay, so now here we will add some other field of the from that same table. Okay, so a dot let's see, we had added last first time last time employee ID a dot. Third city, we done country. Okay, so this two field I have added from this. Remove. Okay, let's take a look the table. And EMP data. Okay, this is the table. In, uh, in the basic view, I had added the employee ID, first name, and last name. Okay, and now extension view, we will add country and city. Okay, so now this two field you can see here. Enter, okay, let's uh, check for error and activate the view. Okay, now as if you if you now see if you click on a run and have application, you can't execute this view and you can't see the data as you will get the error as a data preview not supported on this okay so now this is because this is the extension view okay so now we have to check the whatever field we have added in in that basic view so we have to go to that view and we need to execute this basic view okay so now if i will run this basic view as you can see here 
employee ID, first name, last name, city and country. Now two more field also added in this few. Okay. So earlier there actually there was only three field employee ID, first name, last name, and now here you can see city and country also. Okay. So now we have added this this two field additionally uh, using the extension of view okay now if you click on the basic and you can see here this is the view okay now we will check this view also C level then there had only three fields now we will check for the rest of okay so now as you can see here employee first name last name and there are two two more field added over here added in this basic view okay basic view okay and if you have a look on this uh, extension view here also we had given the name as an extension okay so let's check this also and if you check this view in this view also you can find all this four for this four five field okay the, this okay and this is the output of this view okay okay so this was all about how to add fields to the existing view using the extension of view okay so i hope you like this video if you like this video then press the like button below if you have any doubt then write me in the comment section below if you want to learn more about sap app then you can visit the website www.learnsapapp.com the link is also given in the description and please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification about my next upcoming videos okay so friends bye signing out